so uh, here has been told that the vector a is i cap plus j cap plus k cap and the vector b is j cap minus k cap and we need to find the vector c such that a cross c that is equal to b and a dot c that is equal to 3. So now let the vector c that is equal to sub x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. So now therefore a cross c that will be equal to the determinant of i j k and so the components of a are 1 1 1 and components of c are x y z so we have to exp we can expand it along the first row of the determinant in the determinant we can expand it along the first row so this will be equal to i cap into z minus y minus j cap into z minus x plus k cap into y minus x and that is equal to b which is 0 i cap plus j cap minus k cap so if we compare both sides then therefore we get z minus y equal to 0 which implies y equal to z and from here we get uh, x minus z that is equal to 1 so it means z is equal to x minus 1 and from here we get that y minus x that is equal to minus 1 it means y equal to also x minus 1 therefore y and z are also x minus 1 so now, um, now therefore a dot c a dot c that is equal to 3 this implies a is i cap plus j cap plus k cap then the dot product of it with c vector which is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap so that is equal to 3 so then it means that x plus y plus z that is equal to 3 so now it means x plus y is uh, x minus 1 and plus z is also x minus 1 and that is equal to 3 so it means that 3x that is, that is equal to 5 so x is equal to 5 by 3. So x is coming 5 by 3. Therefore y equal to z. That is equal to x minus 1. So it will be equal to 5 by 3 minus 1. So it will be 2 by 3. So now. Therefore. The vector c that is equal to. X i cap. So it will be 5 by 3 i cap. Plus y j cap. That is 2 by 3 j cap plus z that is equal to also 2 by 3 j cap so uh, sorry it is 2 by 3 k cap since z is 2 by 3 so this is the required vector c this is the final answer thank you